Hello, hello. So my mic was off intentionally during my whole day five, but it was pretty productive. So I just kind of mashed together a montage of everything I did here, and I'm going to be doing post commentary over it. All this stuff is stuff I found from clearing out the second floor of the bank. It wasn't terribly exciting, but good fodder for uh, this. Got myself the only shotgun worth spending shotgun rounds on. Then I went ahead and actually just spent like four hours gathering materials, chopping down trees, breaking rocks, breaking ore, chopping down bushes, just clearing out a huge chunk of land, just like uh, southwest of where I was. Then, of course, after I did all that gathering, the uh, update dropped, because I recorded this over the course of uh, about a day or two, so I didn't get all the stuff that I wanted, or could have gotten, but, I gotta tell you, these new controls for storage are amazing. Went ahead and started putting some stuff together to actually make this house a home, and uh, discovered a nice fast way to down. OSHA approved, I'm sure. Some of my looting had netted me some coils that I broke down and rearranged and got myself self-healing too, which is very nice. And in addition to the traps downstairs, I think I needed a way to better get some birds. So I decided to put my own version of the uh, bird trap together. I've been trying to hunt birds while I've been out, but I've had really, really terrible luck just hunting birds the hard way, the normal way. So hopefully this gets me some birds. Then, ah, the fateful time. Finally had to break down and do some fishing. Did this for a few hours. Got about ten of each fish in the grasslands, then I decided to try my luck in the desert. It was, uh, less successful. I only got myself like three betas and two of the other ones, and then a couple of clay. I figured my issue was that my rod wasn't upgraded enough, but my rod was only common, so I needed to get a rare. I bought a couple, and it took me like over a hundred gold just to get that rare one, but I got it now. Oh yeah, all this stuff was from a little scouting mission I went on. Found a place that I wanted to build my horde base. Got killed twice. But, got enough stuff to get this. So we'll be doing that at some point. And I can't actually upgrade that yet until I get uh, another workbench. But that was basically it for day five. Just did the horde night, and we'll be coming back for day six, where we have something else planned aside from books. Well, all right then. Welcome back. Uh, we mostly, there we go, just finished up horde night. <sighs> Not terribly eventful, predictable. So far so good, still smooth. Yeah, day five was nice and busy, it was good. Now, day six, I gotta admit, has been going through a couple of uh, revisions in uh, what the plan is. So the initial plan was that I was going to just run around and scoop up all the books on the West Coast. But then I was thinking about how I wanted to do a note, like a regular horde base. So on day five, I did a little scouting mission. Now, I didn't record the scouting mission itself, but I went to the mall because that's where I want to build my base. The main issue there being that I have zombie population maxed out. And the enemies here are still pretty dangerous for me. So taking out the mall enough for me to build my base is going to be like a whole day. Which would have been fine. That would have been today. However, I have a new plan. Because gold prices keep rising. 115. Or gold bar prices, rather. And I want to make some money. So two things just came to mind. For starters, shout out to Rob Booze Cruise on Twitch and in the... Uh, Night of the Dead Discord. He's letting me know that he apparently was able to get a whole bunch of money from farming Victor, the first boss. That table in the back of his room apparently continuously respawns with the rest of his room, and you can just keep looting it. And I'm sure I don't need to explain why I would love a chance to get some revenge on Victor. The other thing that came to mind is that I want more weapon mods because I don't have a whole lot on me. Like, I got a couple of things here and there that are kind of useful. But like my guns in particular, I really want a silencer, I really want some other stuff. And I also want more coils. 
and I figure a good place that would be easy enough to just run through and grab coils and mods would be the subway back in the first city. So how about this? Before gold prices change again at noon, just in case they plummet, let's head back to the first city, clear out the subway, and then go farm Victor for as many times as I can until the price change. Then we'll come back here, or wherever the nearest bank is, and just sell everything. So I'll see you back at the first city where we can just go to town on the subway. Yes, yes, I'm back. I'm back. I know you all missed me. Ah, well, yes. Okay, so here we are. In the subway of the first city. I don't know if there are other subways. I would be interested in finding out. But we are just here for mods, like weapon mods, and coils. So I'm going to be just rushing through this place. Yeah, yeah, hello. Hello. Ow. My body. While I may still be a squishy mortal, I uh, have grown a bit from the starting area. So you guys are considerably less scary than you used to be. Got a lot more self heal than I used to. Yeah, yeah, just keep punching. See what good that does you. There you go, there you go. Unfortunately for you, Lucky, Lucky Rabbit's foot is a bit more tenacious than you are. Yeah, I'm not going to show you this whole place. That's like three floors of this, basically. So I'm going to blast through this place, and I will show you what I found at the end. This is going to take a little while. I'm hoping I don't waste like the whole morning here, because I do want to get in some time with Victor. But uh, yeah, let me blast through this as fast as I can, and I will see you when I'm done. We can review what I found. <sighs> All right, well... I cleared out the uh, the stuff that I was talking about in the subway, and I'll be honest, it was pretty disappointing. I feel like I got more interesting stuff from, well, most of these are from enemy drops, and honestly, I'll just drop a bunch of these, but I got more interesting stuff out of uh, those like vehicle reward boxes, because I got a bunch of money, but like, look at the coils I got. That's it. Insultingly, a couple of the coil boxes only had like repair kits in them. And then these were all the mods I was able to get. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm glad I checked. It probably wasn't worth it, but there was this. I'm on my way to the uh, the military base, and I did see that a uh, box dropped. So let's go ahead and check this out. Hello? I'm here for fabulous prizes. Is this the, is this the raffle? Ow. Alright, alright. Goodness. Guys can't take a joke. Oh, we want to come up this way? Well, where are we going? There's a door, there's a ramp. We explosions, we have poison. We got stomps, but I have Lucky Rabbit's foot. Okay, and you. Need to shush. Alright, is that all the heavies? Can I just check this now, please? Got a couple more. Alright. Yeah, get away from my prize box, please. Oh, we got one more guy. Alright. Yeah, yeah, alright. Thank you for participating. Shut up, please. You and... Yeah, I saw you. Oh, thank you for the level up, though. Alright. I don't suppose you guys dropped anything good? No. Uh, yeah, no. Honestly, I'm tempted to just drop the tier 2 stuff as well, but I do have a workbench on top of the military base, then I'll just break down a bunch of that. Alright, alright. What'd we get? It's probably not worth it either. I got some money, sure. <sighs> Alright, I'll take the tier 2 stuff and I'll break it down, but honestly, that was also not worth it. Alright, well, let's head to the military base. Let's see if I can get some solid revenge on Victor. I'm going to buy some uh, assault rifle ammo when I get there. And, hopefully, not embarrass myself. Now, I'm not going there specifically to fight him. I mean, I will try to fight him, and if he's easier to kill, I'll try to farm him a little bit. I'm mostly just going to be going there to his boss room. To loot his table for gold. So, alright, I will see you back there. 
All right, we're back here at the military base. I broke down all that stuff. I decided to keep this piece of leather armor because it has five coil slots. So that might be worth checking out. Uh, everything else I'm just gonna kind of hang on to. Should be enough room to do whatever else I'm gonna be doing here. I know the guys downstairs might be dropping some stuff, but it won't be enough to really threaten this. Reset my revival point to right here. And uh, I ended up buying some assault rifle ammo. But yeah, we'll kind of play it by ear. See how we do. I suspect at the very least we should be considerably more dangerous than we were last time. Howdy boys, remember me? Alright, what else we got here? See if I can get you all up by the door. Come here. There we go. Oh, you got... You're the unlucky soul who got stuck in here with me. Is there anything to loot in here? There is. A couple of coins, okay. Alright, alright. There you go. There you go. How about another? There you go. Now I'm hoping that because you guys are technically a dungeon... Ow! You'll have better drops than the other folks around this area. Especially you guys. Because none of you guys are even, like, here naturally. You're only here because this is a dungeon. Although I'm not terribly impressed so far. Uh, you know what? I don't want to keep these either. Ow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Take it easy. I have enough holes in my feet. Thank you. Chill. I'm gonna get shot at by your boss enough. Guys, I'm over here. Guys? Okay. Alright, folks. Let's just try and blast through here. Where are the heavies? I want to kill you guys in particular. If anybody's going to have anything good for me, it's you. Ow, ow. Someone grabbed me. Hey. Well, this is what happens when you run into a room unprepared. Oh. And you took my weapon? Well, that's not very nice. Alright, well, we're going to have to go get it back, I guess. Hey guys, so I was just kidding before when I was calling you all losers, alright? Here, can you all just, like, follow me? No, no, why? Oh, I actually hurt you guys? Did that hurt you guys? What is hurting you guys? Parry? Wow, I parried my way out of the corner. Incredible. i do another one. I may not have my ravaged foot, but, uh, this seems to be doing just fine. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. Where is my stuff? You guys have so thoroughly buried my stuff. Oh wait, did you like really bury it? Like is it... hold on. Here, come here. Can I just like punch you to death? Do I have enough strength to just... oh. Good. Now hold on. Did you guys do that stupid thing where you like... Oh, is it like under the floor? Did you guys do that to me? Oh, goodness. All right, then. That actually is pretty sweet. However, uh, I want my stuff. Yeah, my death bag is, like, right here. I'm using my scroll wheel, and I'm not finding anything. Did they, like, move it? Oh, wait, it is above me. Wait, what the hell? Why is it above me? Come on, I did my whole ridiculous run down there and survive somehow trick just to have to run into you guys? Uh, no, I don't have time for you guys. I need to go file a complaint with your boss. Oh, Victor, I've come for sweet revenge, but first, I want your money. No gold bars, but okay, so hold on. Ow. Wow, you still hit very hard. So hold on, let me just leave the room. Presumably, the room will reset. How far back do I have to go before this resets? You sitting down again? He's back at his chair, but he's not sitting down. There we go. So theoretically, I should be able to just... Run up and... No! Oh, okay, so I think what Rob meant is that he was just killing him a bunch. He could very easily kill this boss, and then he just kept on looting the table. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, well, we can give this a try at least. So, yeah, let's get you back into position. All right, bub. You ready for round two? Ow. 
Ow. Yeah? Reload. What are you doing? Ow. Alright, alright, alright. Pills. Reload. None of that. I haven't even gotten you to crouch yet, which is a little... So there we go. How do you like that headshot bonus? Oh, goodness. <sighs> I mean, that still took a lot more bullets than I was kind of hoping to spend on you. And you dropped me a woodcutter's axe? You absolute dick. All right, well, I came here for money. And uh, I, I didn't really get that. Also, if you hear noise in the background, I just fed my dog, so they're just kind of happily wandering around. <sighs> All right, well... We can still technically do what we came here to do, it's just going to take a little longer, and I'm going to have to spend more money on assault rifle bullets, which I really, I don't know, it's going to be kind of defeating the purpose of coming here. But I don't know, if I can get a couple of gold bars, and they're still at their high price, I guess I can make it worth it, if I can just keep consistently killing him. Oh, why is my... Oh, right, I died. I'm just going to go ahead and run back and forth trying to kill this guy a couple of times, and before noon, I guess? We'll rush back home, or rush to the nearest bank, which I think is probably home, right? Uh, the other bank's this way. Yeah, I guess that will be closer. Yeah, so before noon, I'll rush to the bank and uh, hopefully make a hefty profit. So right, I will see you, I guess, back at the bank? <sighs> well, hour 11, we're back home. I gotta tell you, there's nothing but absolute disrespect out there. So uh, why are we here? Instead of, uh, at the other bank? Because those two gold bars that I managed to loot from, I think it was the airdrop, were the only gold bars I had. I think I fought Victor, like, five or six times. He was dropping me, like, woodcutter axes. Woodcutter axes, a lot of leather armor. Just absolute disrespect. I even killed the giants that were on top of the mountain. That's why I have no assault rifle ammo left. And one of them dropped me a woodcutter axe as well. <sighs> Nothing but disrespect. But you know what? You know who does have a little bit of respect for me? The regular guys in the bunker. I actually went through, I think, most of the time I killed every one of them. One of them actually dropped me... Gut mashers. Or ma gut massagers. I mean, gut masher sounds good too. One of them dropped me a gut massager. And the one I'm doing, one I'm dropped me the uh, the helmet for the desert set. It's not what I was looking for, but this is a hell of a lot better than the other junk. And don't get me wrong, I ended up walking out of there with uh, a lot of research papers, and I broke down a lot of the stuff for a ton of ingots, which is nice. But I went there for gold, so those two gold bars that I had were all the money that I could muster up. And the reason why I raced back here instead of going to the other bank was because, like I said, my other plan for today was to try and clear out the mole, and I figured that's going to take a while. So I wanted to get back here so I have as much time as possible to deal with that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the horde base, but uh, I at least want to try and clear out a spot in the mall for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff sorted out, grab my kit together to uh, try and take the mall, and hopefully try and get myself some more assault rifle ammo while I'm out there. I didn't get paid as much as I would have liked, but it's time for a bit of a shopping spree. I'll see you at the mall. All right, all right, here we are. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't really know what the best way to do this is gonna be. I know it's gonna be a little, a little dicey no matter what I do. Real quick, let's drop. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I fully anticipate getting my ass thoroughly handed to me a couple of times trying to clear this place out. I know where I want to build. What I don't know is the 
cleanest way to vacate the premises. You are going to be a problem. Ow, ow, ow. Wow. Just immediately get wrecked. All right. Uh, lost my weapon. Still have my shield. Can I quickly grab my stuff? Thank you. Thank you. Alright, there's a lot of you shooty guys around here. Can I, like, round you guys up somewhere? I want to set up some traps, but I need some room. I also need a place to, like, safely reload the traps. Yeah, this middle area here is where I want to build. But I need you guys, like, out of the way. And I need you to keep your mouth shut. And I need you to die. There we go. There we go. Yes. More shield bash. Oh, I'm like double poisoned, what the hell? Oh, that's right, they slow you down too, in addition to the poison damage. That is nasty. Give me back my guard points. Ow, 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 don't kill me again. Ah. Uh, yeah, any, oh boy, any luck I had getting out of dangerous situations back in the, the desert is not going to be with me today. Hi, can you please die? Get away from my stuff. There you go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shield bash, shield bash. There we go. Ow. No. No, no, no. Oh, no. Where's my stuff? There it is. Quickly. Oof. Dodge. Ooh. I need to eat food and get my clothes on. The stripper's dilemma. Okay. Uh, what am I missing? You? Yeah, you jump somewhere else. Alright, hold on. Can I... Can I get on top of this elevator? That would be incredible. Oh, look at that. Alright. Alright. You guys give me, like, a moment. Alright, so... Let's see, what's going to be the best way to do this? Quickly, I need you to drop it, like, right here. There we go. Then I need to be out of sight. Nice drop there, bud. There we go. Alright. Work with me a little bit here. There's an unfortunate number of you just kind of... Standing nearby, can you walk into the trap, please? Ow. 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 There we go. Fine, little rabbit's foot, then. Need a faster attack speed, anyways. Come on, Nutcracker, I wanted to give you a chance, and, uh... Kind of feeling like I would have been better off with the... Rabbit's foot at this point. Excuse me, excuse me. Guys, we're trying to open this area up for some construction. Can we please vacate the area? Need to put up some like traffic cones and barriers. Like, here you go. Oh, wait. I got a student? Is that a backpack? Yeah, it is. Wait, what? A student just walked into that? Okay, okay. Yeah, you guys are pretty chill right now. That's fine. That's actually perfect. So, all right, let's see if we can start a little bit of this. I also brought a couple of, uh, a couple of other building materials to upgrade these so they won't, like, burn down while I'm finishing up. So, let's see, how do I want this? I want you guys to be able to navigate comfortably. Please don't beat up my stuff. Wait. No, wait. No. All right, all right, come here. All right. Oh boy, yeah, now everybody's like, what is he doing? Uh, oh, this might be a little too, yeah, this is a little too far. You take this one out. All right, so I guess this will be the back end. It's kind of open for a little more space, actually. 
Don't scream, just die. Okay, why did you get... Don't stand behind me. Personal space issues, okay? Stand in front of me or don't stand near me at all. Goodness, look at all of you. See, this is why I wanted to try and clear you out before I started building. Also, none of this is upgraded yet, so... Uh, come on, come on. Ow, alright, alright, alright. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, my pig's foot wear off. Wore off. English language is hard. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, chill. Can you all just... Goodness. Alright, maybe maybe this is a good spot for you. Because they're all just kind of condensed into a little hallway here. Oh, that works. Oh yeah, I can... Yeah, use the little uh, air blaster thing to push you guys back. Okay, stop screaming, dude. Wait, oh, who else is screaming? Oh, it's you. Too many screamies. Screamo screaming. Oh, that was a grenade. Who threw a grenade? How about we hang out near this instead of my, uh, unupgraded stairs, yeah? Ow. Ooh, someone dropped a red thing. No. Don't chop his arm off. Chop his whole body off. Kill the whole thing. There we go. What'd you get me? Eh. Okay. Alright. Hold on. So let's see. Let's take a look at what we're working with. <sighs> yeah, so what I have planned, I kind of need a little more room than this. I'm okay with this being the back. Kinda. But I want the run to be a little longer. Not that it really needs to be, I think. Since we're playing on a more modest difficulty, this might be okay. Yeah, alright, I'll try to make this work. I'll try to make it work. Sorry, let me get this... sorted out. No, no, no. Oh, come on. People, I need... No, that's not what I need. Come on. Alright. So I'm not going to be able to get all of this built like, right now. I just want to get, like, the basic framework of it set up. Alright, and we need... Oh, planks. Alright, alright. Alright, well, can I get, like... The shredders set up? Come on. What? Sometimes you guys just do not care about knockback at all. Nutcracker, I'm kind of counting on you to be a little more pushy. There we go. Like, Nutcracker's pretty good. But, man, you could be a lot better. No. There we go, there we go. Goodness, people. Alright, hold on, let me try to get... Get some shredders up, because that would probably help me out a little bit here. Let me take this other shredder down real quick. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 don't repair. Oh, who shot me? Yeah, yeah. Take this one down. Take it down. Oh, I'm poisoned, so I keep getting interrupted. Alright. Now take it down. Alright. No, no, no. You. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Please stop attacking my stuff. Pretty please? Alright. Let's try this. Well, here, let's get the wall set up first. Then you might get an idea of what I'm actually building here.
What? Really? Uh, I really came unprepared. All right, well, I can try and... No, actually, I can't put the shredder down until I get the wall set up. All right, well, what we can do at the very least is start upgrading some of this so I can stay put while I run back home real quick. I tried to go a little overboard with uh, upgrade materials. I wanted to make sure I had enough to at least secure the stairs in this main run here. There we go. Bricks I'm always worried about running out of. Yeah, this doesn't feel... What? what? Oh, all right, rebar. Can we at least get these to stone? I don't want these burning down while I'm away. It's going to be a quick trip back home, but... So I need planks, rebar. Uh, probably, yeah, by the time I come back, I'm going to need some more bricks because I'm going to put up some walls. All right, so what, yeah, you needed, you need planks, and then I think you needed planks. I'm only going to need two of these. Should be good, and I'm going to need four of you. So yeah, planks. Okay, all right, I will be back. So I will run back home real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, can you guys not stand near my bike? That would be... Super cool. Can you stop assaulting me? Goodness, alright. So I should have everything. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hopefully we didn't completely fill in with nonsense over here while I was gone. Alright, if you guys want to start some problems, you'll have to come up here. A wall. Wall. Yeah, yeah, alright, come here. Clear out the riffraff before we get started. Or, continue. Guys, guys, please. Alright. Alright, real quick. Let's see, can we... Here, we'll get... yeah. There's a couple more walls I need to build, but this will be a start. Let's get very crucial. There we go. All right, and the next most important part. Ah, it's going to take some finagling. Right there. Beautiful. Now one more. Just mash it right in there. There we go. Okay, so the way this is supposed to work is this splits the path. They're going to come down whichever way they want. This is going to drop, cutting this path off. So anybody else coming down here is going to be like, oh, all right, well, I have to go around this way, come back around this way, and then just keep ping-ponging them back and forth. I'm not sure what the correct term is. I think ping-pong is technically racist, but you get the idea. It's going to keep going back and forth, up and down the length of the shredder here. Now, if you wanted to scale this up, you would just make it longer if you had faster zombies. And obviously, I'll build more walls here. And I think as an extra measure of protection, what I might do is put a pendulum back here. Ooh. Apparently, I might need to put some additional walls up. Like, nobody should be getting back here. This is kind of designed to be, you know, relatively simple. So I wasn't really planning on having more than just this trap set up. But just in case. Oh, can I not stand underneath it? There we go. Then obviously we'll upgrade all this to be powered. And I'm going to have the power on the roof where I can see it. It's kind of beaming down here. So alright, let's go ahead and upgrade everyone that we can. Ow, wow, that was an incredible jump, man. Goodness. Upgrade everything we can. We're going to need to grab more uh, motors and plugs from a hardware store. I also want to grab some more ammo while we're here. But all right, let's see what we can upgrade. You guys are going to need... Oh, you're going to need transistors, too. All right, well, I'll try to pick some of those up as well. You guys, there we go. Okay, I think that's about all the upgrades we can do. Oh, never mind, I got these. Well, I'll get those eventually. And I'm missing a small stone, so I can't repair you for an upgrade. Let's... Yeah, hi. Does that feel good? 
There we go, thank you. Let's scout around the mall, see if we can find a hardware store. Ooh, nice. And I guess just generally see what stores we have available. Hey folks, I'm here to do some shopping. You guys got any good sales? Why is my pendulum going? Who the hell is up there? What? Screamo, Screamo, you need to die, Screamo. Oh, wow, my knife is almost broken, I just realized. All right, hang on. Right, if you guys want to continue this fight, you'll have to come and follow me real quick. Yeah, why was my pendulum going off? What the hell was that? No one should have gotten anywhere near this. And yet, did someone, like, drop in? What the hell? No need to scream. No need to scream. I do appreciate when the Nutcracker actually is, like, working for me, that it can just obliterate crowds. When it's working. Alright, so what are you? Okay, more accessories. Ow! Sorry, I meant to just exit the menu. Where is your hardware store? Oh, hi. I see a computer store over there, which probably has some of the stuff I'm looking for. I also appreciate how some of you just do not care. You're not even that far away. But that does mean I probably can't do any shopping in peace to like clean all you out. Let's take a peek real quick. What is this? Yes, that is what I'm looking for. Good. All right. Then you all have to die. What are you, the kiosk guards? Come on now. Can a lady just do some shopping? This is a real life experience of being a, a woman in public trying to just do some shopping in peace and dudes just keep rolling up on her like, hey, can I get your number? Hey, can I get a picture? Creeps everywhere. That's all you guys are. Just a bunch of creeps. Hey. Oh yeah, bookstore. Nice. Alright. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to need a bunch of these, because I'm also going to need some for... Uh, well, if they buy it two at a piece. Alright, that's nice. I'm also going to need some for windmills, so... 22. Alright, that might have been too much. That might have been too much, if I'm completely honest. Let's take it easy on these. How about five? How much is five plugs? Alright, that, that should be good. And you, I only need those, I think. Everything else should be okay. Uh, yeah, I'll set up a battery upstairs too. Alright, now we should be good. I'm also out of room. But, alright. Now, do I have enough of everything else I need to actually upgrade? Oh, I'm not going to make that. No. Do I have enough to actually upgrade my traps? I'm going to need to go get some small stones anyways to repair some of the stone stuff that I couldn't upgrade to metal. Yeah, come this way. Come this way. So here, you. Nails, of course. And I thought I went crazy making a whole bunch of nails. Is there anybody I can upgrade? There you go. Not even you guys? Nails and rebar. All the way across nails, rebar, and plates. And rope. Good grief. All right. Well, I have a whole bunch of crap I need to get back home anyways. So I'm going to go home. How about I recycle this? So a lot of this is actually higher tier stuff I wouldn't mind recycling. A five coil copper armor? Um it's gonna kill my movement speed, but how do I how do I say no to this? I mean I would say no if my leather armor had like equipment drop rate or something, but it doesn't. 
Sorry, I'll get home, I'll chew up a bunch of this stuff, I'll recycle what I don't keep, and come back with everything I need. So I'm going to see you when I get back, I guess? Okay, and we are back. Uh, that was a very fruitful little trip home, so I chewed up a bunch of the stuff. Oops, I forgot to chew this up. But I recycled a bunch of the tier 4 and 5 stuff. Oh yeah, and I put this on, so that's all nice now. Of the stuff that I managed to recycle, I ended up getting copper gloves. That have an extra slot uh, on top of what my leather gloves had, which allowed me... Oops, hold on. To get self-healing 3. So hell yeah, we got way too much self-healing. But we can always get more. Uh, I think some of these other things are new too, but yeah, looking good. So I should have everything I need to at least get the traps upgraded. I don't know about the power situation, but that'll be that'll be phase two. I also got yeah yeah. I also got some small stones. Where are you? Yeah you. There we go. All right, you. I ended up getting a bunch more nails, made some more rope, should be good on everything else. I don't think I need transistors for anything aside from you guys, I don't remember. There's you, let's get you all sorted out. I ran out of rebar already, huh? Alright. Alright, let's at least get you to stone and you. Why? Alright, alright. So I will have to run back home again, but before I do that, can I at least get started on this? Because you do not take rebar, although I'll still need some more plates. All right, all right. You... So I can get two windmills and a battery up. It's not the worst, I guess. I also wouldn't mind some kind of a temporary little jump platform or a stairway up, because I don't want to have to run around the outside of the building every time. So let's see what we can do with that first. Yeah, like, can I just do some silly little impromptu parkour thing here? Up here. God, that was probably the dumbest series of parkour things I've ever had to do. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's going to work, but... Yeah, let's see if we can at least start getting some power set up. And there go the plates for you. Alright. Good grief. Okay, so you know what? I... I'm just not going to record the rest of this. I'm going to go home, get some rebar, get some plates, and I actually think I'm running low on you finally. So, you know, I'm also going to take apart a bunch of uh, street lamps and stuff. Come back here, finish this up, and maybe even set up some lights if I'm lucky. And if I can get this done before Horde Night, I'll go ahead and I'll show Horde Night. If I can't, then the episode is just going to end abruptly. I'll do my Horde Night back at the bank, and then I will just see you next time. So fingers crossed, and here's to hoping I can see you for Horde Night in the mall. Hey, welcome back. Look who managed to scrounge up the stuff he needed. Oh, and the wave started banner actually just disappeared. And I don't feel like reloading to get it again, so... The wave just started, as you can see. Hour zero. But yeah, we got it all. I gotta tell you, out of the stuff that I needed, because I needed like plates and nails and stuff... Nails, I was not expecting to be the most difficult thing to find in a short notice. But what we have upstairs is, I think, five, no, ten windmills, so every input slot on that battery is full. And actually here we can show you. Coming down, everybody here is wired up and upgraded. And we are good to go, and I was going to try and put some electrical lights up, but I didn't want to have any more power draw because I wasn't sure what my actual power needs would be. So I just elected to uh, set up a couple of those torch lamps. But yeah, so I'm going to consider this whole wave here just kind of bonus material. I'm going to say very little. I'm just going to let my work speak for itself. Just go ahead and enjoy this nonsense. And before I go ahead and just kind of crouch down and shut up, quick review again. They come up. Also, let's make sure we're all repaired up. Come up. We got two paths. They can choose whichever one they want. The floor will drop, and I put two here just in case anybody's running too fast. Once the path is broken, they'll have to divert all the way along the shredders again to come to the other path. And then back and forth and back and forth until they're all dead. So, sit back and enjoy the show.
there it is. The skull is white. We are done with our first test Horde Knight. I say test, but the first actual Horde Knight. I did not actually test this ahead of time, so I'm very glad that it held up. I was mostly worried about the stairs, but we are okay. So this is going to be my new Horde base. I will build it up very slightly more. The only major addition I want to make is, uh, uh, what is it, the drone thing? I don't even know if I have access to that yet. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I might not have unlocked it yet, but a drone for just automated repairs. And then you might be thinking, well, sub, this is kind of cool and all, but what are you going to do about giants? And to that I say, uh, 